Alright, hi there again YouTube and once again thank you all for joining me. Today we've got another kind of strange video about a Windows process called WinInit. Uh, that's W-I-N-I-N-I-T dot E-X-E. Now, what's weird about this thing is in Windows 10, um, not sure about Windows 11, but I know in Windows 10, if you try to execute this and run it uh, within PowerShell or the command, command prompt, um, it will actually crash Windows. Now, I do believe that there's only meant to be one instance of it running anyway in the background. So trying to initialize a second process of it running will actually conflict and cause Windows to shut down. Now in the description bar, there's a link to actually read the article uh, about Win in it. But I want to actually show you what this does. So it's a fairly short video. So I say what we do is go over here and take a little look at that. And that's coming up after the intro, of course. Be strong. Be strong. Okay, so we're over on the, um, the workstation here and we have our desktop, as you see. Now, from what I gather about this uh, file, this is winninit.exe, and it is the genuine winninit.exe file is a software component of Microsoft Windows operating system. And it's, uh, Microsoft's genuine winninit.exe win should reside in C colon backslash windows backslash system 32. And it is a critical system process, uh, an essential Windows file, and it's not to be removed. And winninit stands for Windows Initialization Process. Now again, at file.net, uh, links for that are in the description bar below. We'll go into more details about this. But I want to show you it now. It is kind of quite funny. Um, but let's, let's see first of all if we can actually find it um, within our uh, file directory. So we should go to this PC... And we know it's in C colon backslash, and it should be within the Windows. So C colon backslash Windows. And if we click up here, we should be able to type this in. So backslash system32, it's there. And we're going to look for... I do believe it's here anyway. According to file.net, it says that it's there. So let's see if we can find it. Win in it. Dot exe, it's right there. And if we enter that, is it there? It should be. win in it let's see if it is here well that's strange it doesn't look like it is okay let's see what happens anyway when we try and run it because i'm pressing enter to look for the file Let's search System32 instead over here on the right-hand side and say win in it. And there it is. Now, if we try run that, it doesn't do anything here. But it is actually within the System32 system files, as you see. Now, what is hilarious is if you actually run it from PowerShell, 
So if we go down here into our search bar and type in PowerShell, we can bring that up. So we get a blue screen. And then if we type win in it, you can either put win in it or win in it exe. Either one does fine. But when you press enter, your device ran into a problem and needs to restart. And some people have made YouTube videos on this, but um, I'm pretty sure that only one instance of uh, the file is meant to be running. Hence why trying to run more than one of them uh, will crash a machine. And uh, that is according to uh, another source. Again, the links for that will be in the description bar below. Um, but yeah, uh, overall, there should only be one instance of winninit.exe that's running. So let's show you another way on how we can um, crash a machine. And again, if we go into our search bar and we type in CMD, so Charlie Mike D for Delta, and press enter, we'll bring up a command prompt. And then we can type in PowerShell from here. And that will run the PowerShell from within the command prompt. And then we can type win in it again. Oh, I've mistyped that. Win in it and it should crash again. So I just thought I would throw out that quick video on you um, on the basis of, uh, yeah, trying it and um, seeing what other people have done. And it does indeed hilariously crash windows. So I think what we'll do is proceed to close out then and uh, we'll leave it there for today. Let's just allow windows to boot up and we'll leave it there. So we'll just give this a moment to get back to our desktop, if it will. And there we are. So oh, there we have it. Uh, that brings us to the conclusion of another video for, uh, for you today. And that was on winInit.exe and how one instance of it should be only running at any one time. Hopefully you found that one a little bit amusing and informative. And as always, uh, all, I thank you for uh, joining the channel if you're new and for returning if you're not. And uh, in the meantime, I'm going to wish you all the very best. Do keep the comments coming. Uh, I like reading them all and I respond where I can. And uh, again, as always, ringy dingy dingy, get that bell on if you haven't already done so. It's free to do, as is the subscribe button. And give the video a little thumbs up if you can. It helps me and the algorithms out as well. So that's it for today. And thank you for joining me once again. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. So that's me. Over and out.